What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to A Week in Geek. My name is John Murray and as you know every week a bunch of gamers get together to discuss gaming and geek culture and a bunch of goofy shit that these guys usually bring up right here. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. With me as always my cadre of fellow nerds, uh, Matt Mattingly at the end there. Hey, hey. Jacob Holman next to him. Yo. And of course, the undercover guru, Jesse Stevens. That's me. So guys, uh, I, as of today, am a Jennifer Lawrence fan. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> uh, for anybody who hasn't heard, uh, this will probably be going up a little bit late. There's probably no way you haven't heard about this by now. But uh, Jennifer Lawrence and upwards of 100 celebrities have had their photos hacked from, I believe it was the cloud, right? The Apple's wow. cloud? So I'm not sure. Whatever the cloud system. I, I've always said, fuck the cloud. I've been you know, totally against the I've been saying this forever storage. because, you know, just because you delete it off your phone, Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean it's gone. Think about all that uh, Snapchat crap. Oh yeah, that is I was trying somewhere. to tell I was trying to tell D Money like you realize that this stuff is in a database somewhere. Like, well, if that's in a database. I'm gonna say, Kalen, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Kalen, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in the cloud. It's up there. Don't knew about it. <laughs> but uh, so uh, it's kind of funny. I'm enjoying it a lot because one. You get to see a bunch of new photos of Jennifer Lawrence yeah. and Kate Upton, which is Matt Mattingly's stamp of approval on that one. Hey! Uh, but the most interesting part about this for me is all of these women who are just outraged. And these are not like a one-shot photo. Like Jennifer Lawrence, just on the website that I seen, whenever all this shit was going down, there was like 15, 20 photos from like, I mean, with different hair colors and shit. Like this is stuff that these people do constantly. And, and then you're surprised whenever this shit goes public. Everybody's a freak, period. Okay. Oh yeah. And then when your shit gets don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. I have no problem with sex tapes or new photos, whatever. But when their shit gets exposed, on they all act all like, "Oh my god!" Like, exactly. like get off for it. That shit's gonna get you're, out. You're a somehow. human. You got wants and needs, and shit. Right. You're gonna get yours fulfilled. Yeah, guess what? Now you're ten times more popular. Right. And that's another thing. Every one of these women, their next movie is gonna do ten times what normally would happen. Oh, yeah. So you know what? The way I see it, it's part of the business. It's right. part of the world we live in. Get the fuck over. If you ask me, if you ask me, every 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 chick in Hollywood should do at least one one scene, one sex scene, and have it out there. You know, like a sex tape. Yeah. <coughs> Jennifer Lawrence has including, been the top of the including headlines. the old ones. Fuck it. Everybody needs love. Get Sigourney out there. Weaver sex tape. Dude, Let's I would it. watch the hell out of a Sigourney Weaver sex tape because that bitch is good she at everything would. she does. <laughs> yes. And she would. She used to. I guarantee. I guarantee you, she could ride it too. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. Stay I'll away from her, you get, bitch. I'll, I'll, <laughs> we are starting off on a high note this week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone prepare for lawsuits. I would, I would give that So, give Jennifer Lawrence being everyone. the biggest A-list celebrity on this list, she's been like at the top of the headlines because this is on every <laughs> website, every newspaper is covering this big thing. So, you know, what? I, the first thing I thought when I heard about this is the coolest thing for her to do would come out and be like, yeah, we're all naked under our clothes. We've all done it. Get the fuck over it. Right. Right. I but, honestly think she won't even care about it. See, that, that's the thing. That I think that would be the best way to handle any of this stuff. Like, yeah, help yourself. Like, you know, what the fuck ever. Everybody has got tits. Everybody's got genitals. You know, all this shit. And just be like, who the fuck cares? Right. That would be the best way to handle it, as far as I'm concerned, right? But, concerned. like, all of these people are now threatening lawsuits against websites. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, like, the majority of, uh, Jennifer Lawrence especially, majority of her audience is, like, teenagers. Yeah. You know, like given the opportunity, opinion, tell me a teenage boy and, who would not look at those photos. In my personal opinion, the best way those chicks can handle it is with both hands. <laughs> you fucking you know, but it's oh, it's right. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of wholesome family comedies, <laughs> I'm gonna get things started this week if you guys don't mind. Family comedies. Uh, so, another big story, kind of. Before all this stuff happened, this is the the leaked photos are going to be all you hear about for the next few weeks. Uh, but uh, we all know that they kind of rebooted Boy Meets World, the Girl Meets World. Girl Meets back, World. Uh, the, the original characters and they're kind of sprinkled in there and stuff like that. Uh, so now they're talking about bringing back Full House, which I I'm think I think could be interesting. I think it could be interesting. I'm all for that. Uh, apparently, a lot of the key cast members have already signed up and they're working on getting everything else settled. So, what I was wanting to know from you guys is what TV series from your childhoods would you like to see rebooted? I'll start. 
Saved by the Bell, obviously. Saved by the Bell. That's they're actually kind of doing it. Well, they're they're making that. They made that lifetime movie. movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did that actually come out yet? Yeah, or? that's already been aired. Uh, Saved out. by the Bell, all original cast, the olden years. Boom. The geriatric years. The ger like you said, the geriatric years. Let's go. <laughs> Them now. That would be. Uh, you could have like Zach Morris working on his four hundred one k. Yeah. You know, and uh, or we could do you know like a Golden Girls and just film a graveyard. Is that too mean? Is that too mean? No, because they are actually all dead, minus Betty White. Betty White's the only one. Oh, still she's alive. still alive. She's still alive. She's doing stand up and shit. Dude, she's funny as hell. It's cocaine. It's <laughs> a hell of a drug. <laughs> Damn. So, uh, say by the bell. Say by the bell. Any other ones? Go around. Go around. Yeah, I, I, got, I got a few. Oh, my God. Hmm. Show that I would want to reboot it. That's tough, man. I've mentioned it before that this is one of my favorite shows growing up, <laughs> and it's less sitcom. You know, it's not a sitcom yeah. at all, actually. Uh, but Quantum Leap, I would love to see a movie of that. That would be good. <laughs> like, like oh, day. Columbo. You know who I... If Columbo? Columbo's good. That would be. A that would actually be a good premise for a modern yeah. show. Yeah. But uh, if you're doing Quantum Leap, Bradley Cooper. Good, good call. Good call, call. yeah. And actually, you know what? They had a, a sequel, or they were going to do like a movie sequel to the show in the works years ago. And it was about. Uh, has everybody seen the show or seen the finale? Like, granted, this is from the eighties, but I, I, I watched it all on Netflix. Okay, so spoiler alert: if you ever been watching an obscure TV show from the eighties, right? Twenty uh, years too late. The story is during the the finale, Sam Beckett keeps leaving. He never goes home. Yeah. So they had a, a sequel pen uh, that was about his daughter or some shit like that that started leaving to be able to try signing his daughter. Yeah, he actually did have a kid in one of the timelines. That it was what now I could understand like the younger sister because she was actually in the show in a few episodes. Right, but in one of the timelines he leaped into, he leaped into himself. Yeah, and like impregnated his uh, his wife, uh, some something, something like that. Yeah, it's really weird, but he did have a daughter, and they were gonna do that. Uh, but that would be an interesting thing because the dude that played him, uh, I forget his name, like he's still around, he's still yeah. acts, you know. Yeah, he was he's on, he's on Enterprise. Yeah, exactly. He's yeah. on the Star Trek show, or he was, or was. That show got canceled after like three years. Okay, but he is still around, and he's still a good actor and everything. So, like, dude, I like that guy. Yeah, yeah that, I mean, that, that'd be cool. I don't know. That's yeah. one I'd like to see. I'd, I'd like to see Goosebumps remade, but for <coughs> adult, like adult audiences, like it would be like a supernatural take, like every different things, like you know, a monster. That'd be interesting. There's a lot of that right now, though. Yeah, yeah. I think it'd be cool, though. You know what I'd like to see rebooted? Bosom Buddies. Bosom Buddies? It's a very... It, it was what started Tom Hanks' career. It was the oh, okay, sitcom. yeah, the, the first... Yeah, the show. Because I'm a huge Tom Hanks fan, and I would love to see geriatric Bosom Buddies. Yeah, Because <laughs> Tom Hanks... I don't know. I never actually seen that. <laughs> you know, I was actually thinking, though, Goosebumps would be good, because there's not a lot of scary stuff for, like, yeah. kids out there. Yeah. You know, uh, like well, like when we were kids, like '80s horror movies, like even kids' movies had like a dark element to them, yeah. and it was like scary shit. And we had a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's not really anything out there. Are you, Are you afraid, afraid of the dark? Of dark? Yeah, shit like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, I would love to see that again. Salute your shorts. I never seen that. Oh, good know, shit. You guys pretty much covered everything. I don't know, man. <coughs> um, what about uh, let's see? There, we had Full House. Would you want them to remake Seinfeld? No, no. you can't remake Seinfeld. Power Rangers. Power Rangers is still going there. Power Rangers? Is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. What? It's still a series. Well, I actually read something about stuff. And they're also making another movie. The original yeah, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles cartoon. I keep the original premise. Yeah. Not all this crazy shit. That would be awesome. Well, there, there's really a Teenage good. Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon on air now. I know, but it's terrible. Yeah. No, it's not. It's really good. Have you watched it? I watched, like, the entire first season. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The cartoon? Yeah, it's awesome. I, I've seen No, I, I want an original. Like, with the guy with the rhino. The Bebop, 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 Bebop. Yeah. Yeah. That's the great thing about this series. All the old original characters they're bringing them back. Are they, they got like dead? Baxter Stockman, the Rat King, all like all these guys. They haven't had Bebop and Rocksteady yet. yet. Uh, but like all the original characters. Yeah, Krang. Krang is the main character. It's Krang and Shredder. Check it out. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. I, well, I seen a couple, but I was like, No, it's good. I like it. Are they aliens or are they Ninja Turtles? No, it's the original story. Good. Yeah. Hmm. I'm here. So much. Television show. Uh, what else? What else? 
I'm, tr I'm trying to think of like the TG TGIF lineup. Right. Uh, Family Matters. Family oh, Matters. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to watch the fuck out of that show. That'd be a good one. Just no Urkel. Right, Sorry. right, right. Gotta leave Urkel. He Urkel. was the weakest part of that show, I think. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing about that uh, show is it started out, Steve Urkel was a sideline character and the show was awesome. They were like, oh, hey, it's Urkel. And they made him like the main character and the show fell off. And then they realized they fucked up and they switched it back. And the See, show I liked strong. it. You liked Urkel? I, I don't like Urkel, you but see, he made the show. You can see his junk every time he's on camera. So? His pants are so high and tight. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Let the man show That's his just junk. That's because you like looking at black cat. the man show his junk. <laughs> man wants to show his junk, he should be able to. Right. It's fucking television. Right. Fuck. Uh, what's, what's his name uh, on Mad Men? There's that thing. They actually, he doesn't wear underwear. So the main guy? Yeah, yeah. Don Draper. Yeah. And apparently the dude's packing. And so it was like this this big thing where like they had to make him start wearing underwear while he filmed the show. <coughs> that dude's packing. Anyway, uh, aside from Don Draper's uh, package, uh, what are the television shows? <laughs> I was thinking, you know what? Uh, one that I used to really like was uh, Step by Step. Oh yeah. Because I really liked the uh, the Cody character. You know, I heard the two daughters in that show got smoking hot. They did. They really did. I want to see an adult. The, the, the oldest show. one, especially the blonde. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Dude, oh. the blonde was hot. Well, it was. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 shit, what's her name? Goldie. Oh, no, 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 no. Suzanne Summers. Suzanne Summers. Yeah, yeah. She from, was the, from she Free's was Company. Yeah, she's a hot bitch. Yeah. The Brack Show. Oof. That's yeah. what that show is called. Damn, Dude, I was trying to think Did you ever see that episode so with the where he walked upstairs on the bridge? Oh my god, I've, I've never seen, laughed harder in my life. I have seen all of them with Andy. Andy used to have all of it. And I, I just remember watching that one episode with Andy where they're talking and there's someone standing and like it's a shot in the kitchen. I don't know how well you know the show, but there's a window right there. Yeah. And the people are talking, there's someone standing in the window, and you hear the doorbell ring. And the guy in the window goes, uh oh, and he run and then when he gets to the front door, it's him standing there. Like he rang the doorbell, but he was in the backyard. <laughs> what is that? The brass show. Right. Right. And yeah, then there's this show. part where there's these guys standing on a bridge and you hear footsteps, like someone's walking up the stairs, and you see him go like this on the bridge, like he's walking upstairs, but he's on a bridge. <laughs> it's so weird, but it's I awesome. never laughed harder. I never even it. Oh, oh, there, there's only like 20 or 30 episodes, yeah, but it's gotcha. freaking awesome. They replace the <laughs> woman who did the mom's voice from an Eng from an American lady to an English lady, and they even comment on it, like like oh yeah and now, you, have now I have now I randomly have a British accent for the rest <laughs> of the show. Oh, this show is so funny. <laughs> The yeah. feet! What are we the feet? I was feet? glad you yeah. that up like a week ago. I could call it the Zap Brannigan show. Oh, like, dude. Zap Brannigan. That's, that's the dude from Futurama. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I was trying to look up the, the Brack show. Oh, this show's so good. Matt, what was the, uh, you remember you had the original TGIF series? And then they had like, like after that stuff started wearing down and the show started ending, they had like a second series. And I remember one of them was uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Yeah. But what were some of the other ones? I don't, I don't remember. It. I do not remember. Cause that's like when I stopped watching. Yeah, yeah, me too. Um, Oof. There was a there was a like a whole new bunch of shows that went for a really long time. Mm -hmm. I would like to see. Andy's been watching it. Yu Gi Oh. Yu Gi Oh. Remake. What about a? Oh, uh, the cartoon. Shoot. Or how about a show evolved around magic? The what? card game. Yeah. A magic that might show. work. I don't know. Pokemon has done it. Yu-Gi-Oh. I want a magic. An adult Pokemon themed yeah. show. Like a... Do like live action or cartoon? Cartoon. <laughs> adult cartoon by Pokemon. Let's reboot yes. Dragon Ball Z. But like have like serious themes. What are you talking, Rebu? Like situations. You know what they should do is take the, uh, you know the premise of that show with all the Disney characters? The live action show? Oh, yeah. Do that with Pokemon where all the Pokemon get transported to Earth. Yeah. But that shows the shit. Maybe something like the cartels using Pokemon to smuggle, That'd be smuggle awesome. drugs That'd be, up. And like there's really a cool. Pokemon task force. <laughs> oh, and uh, like it's like that. Next, like, very serious themed. But having dudes getting murdered and yeah, shit. Yeah, like Charizard just. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bring, bring, bring Doug back. Doug. Doug. Good show. I was too old for that. I've never seen Good that. Good show. Pork Chop. Patty Mayonnaise. Yo. Roger Klotz. <laughs> Yo. Skeeter Valentine? I think it was Valentine, yeah. I think yeah. 
That was my show for a few years though. Yeah.